let's deploy a Nux3 application to DigitalOcean. To follow along with this video, you need two things. One, a DigitalOcean account and a working Nux project. If you don't have working Nux project, I'll put a demo Nux application link in the description. So do check that out. For DigitalOcean, you have to you have to have a, a working uh, plan uh, because we are just uh, doing it for demo. So what I'll do, I'll give my affiliate link. If you sign up with that link, you will get $200 credits. So the credit is not unlimited. The credit will be only uh, usable for two months. So make sure you are using the credit um, before two months and after that they will uh, charge your card so yeah so that out of the way let's get started and let's see uh, how we can deploy a nux3 application to digital ocean so first thing uh, we have a, a nux3 project so the project links you can uh, get in the description so you just go and clone it so you have the nux application let's run it i'll open my command prompt and i'll arrange it a little bit and then if you zoom in a little bit you can see uh, we can run yarn dev and yeah so it's running now let's open it up on firefox localhost 3000 so as you can see this is uh, the project uh, we are going to be deploying in uh, DigitalOcean app platform so um, if you don't know this project we have uh, built in our last uh, video so if you want to build the project from scratch then do check out the last video so we'll just be deploying this project to the digital ocean so uh, let's check what are the things we need uh, for deploying it so first thing we need we need uh, is a env file so in env file we specify all our secret token and api url api secret keys so basically we need to configure that in app platform so uh, keep a note of this uh, variable environment variable so now uh, the next thing we need is a digital ocean account of course so in the description the first link you will get uh, would be the digital ocean um, affiliate link which uh, by which you can uh, get a 200 dollar uh, credits so let's open that up uh, let me just copy it from here I'll go to uh, Firefox it will redirect me uh, to the digital ocean so once you go there you can see uh, you are eligible for $200 credits and that for 60 day I think 60 day is more than enough for testing and testing the deployments and all so yeah just do check out and sign up so I already have a login I already have an account so I'm just going to uh, log into my existing account once you log in you can see uh, the dashboard here and uh, in, in the, the home page you will see uh, all your my project previous projects so we are interested in app platform so I'll click on apps so just click on create app then choose your provider so as I have said already publish your project to the github so we have have already done that if you don't know how to publish uh, a project to github then check out my previous video and go to the very last uh, chapter and then you will be able to uh, do that so select the provider once i select the provider i need to connect it the provider and then cl uh, create click on manage access so once you do that you have to log into your uh, github account so i'll just quickly do that once you log in to your github account you will be uh, seeing this uh, window where you have to select uh, your uh, organization in my case it's it is in my personal um, account so i'll just click on uh, my name and then once i do that uh, i can give access to all my repository or else I can just give uh, access to the selected repository so what I will do I'll just give access to the selected repository so for instance I'll just give uh, the Nux3 demo app access so this is the Nux3 uh, demo application so I'm just going to click on that and I'll click on save once I do that I'll be redirected back uh, to DigitalOcean so inside DigitalOcean now I'll be able to uh, select uh, the selected repository so I'll just quickly do that and now it is asking for which branch uh, to select so in my case I have all my uh, code uh, to main branch but for uh, your cases or maybe some for other it might be some on some different branches so do select the correct branch where your code um, is uh, placed once uh, you do that just click on next 
in the next screen we have to uh, add the environment variable but first i guess we have to select on uh, the plan so basically what we will do uh, we'll check which plan they have already uh, selected for us so just let's just go back a little bit and then so as you can see it has selected pro plan if you want to change that just click on edit plan and then from this drop down you can select the plan so their plans start from uh 12 dollar a month i think which is uh, pretty much uh, reasonable so choose the plan based on your uh users but for testing you will get um like uh, 200 dollar credit so you can choose anything i guess then uh, containers how many containers you want this is this will be used for load balancing so basically i keep it at two and then you can see the monthly cost is 24 dollars so once uh, all of all of those things are configured i'll go back and then i'll uh, click on next and now i have to select uh, i have to add the environment variable so what i'll do i don't want to add it on global scope so i'll just add it inside the application scope so i'll click on edit and now I will give my environment variable there. So key and then the value. So once I am done with that, I'll click on save. I'll click on next. And then uh, you can select on uh, the region. So for my case, I'll just uh, leave it at default. But for your case, choose the region based on your uh, customer base. Okay. So then I'll click on next. But before that, I need a few more things uh, to review. So as you can see in the review section, we have uh, the pro plan. We have this uh, in one environment variable and uh, other bunch of survey information you'll get here. And it will show you the cost at the end. So I will quickly check the environment variable again. So we have total one environment variable. Okay, so in order to uh, deploy it in uh, deploy the next three application to on uh, the app platform we need another environment variable because night uh, nux3 is based on a nitro of framework uh, which you know which is used to render the server so what we need we need uh, uh, we need to specify a preset so that nitro can configure it uh, whenever a server request uh, gets through so it would be uh, going through a nitro so we have to add that preset so i'll just write nitro preset and then i'll uh, give the value uh, digital ocean i'll just quickly confirm it so just go to nuxt.com get started and then deployment inside deployment uh, go all the way down and let's check for digital ocean yeah so you have to select on the preset and you have to give uh, give the value as digital ocean okay not digital ocean like with with, with a dash so once you're done with that click on save and then uh then go back and uh, create click on create resource okay so it will take some time to uh, boot up the um, boot up the application so let's check the bid lock if we get any errors so as you can see it's already started building so once it, it is built we'll be uh we'll be seeing the live uh, preview and there is error in our build so let's try to debug it and see what's wrong in it so it says fail to launch determine a start command process type web was not found okay i guess uh, i know what the issue is so let's uh, move back to uh, to the documentation and see what's the problem so basically uh, why, what we need is the presets nitro supports deploying on digital ocean app platform which we are using with minimal configuration creating new app then uh, you need to configure this okay so they're saying we need to specify the node engine that uh, we will do but let's check I, I don't think this is a node issue particularly so let's check what they what more they have to like offer okay uh, okay so let's just uh, add this statement to our package.json uh, package.json and then I'll uh, once we're done with that we'll be we'll add a commit okay now let's go back to digital ocean and let's try to okay it, it has detected the uh, push and it is 
trying to rebuild it again so let's see what happens mm, what i am interested in i'm interested in the uh, node version but yeah so node version uh, they are using is 16 and no start file so what basically uh, these kind of uh, platform as a service needs it it you have to specify a start command but uh, in nitro i haven't seen any uh, documentation on that part so just i'm trying as per the uh, digital ocean documentation that is given by nitro so if that doesn't work we'll add uh, the start command uh, in package digestion and we'll try again i I am doing this all in front of you because I want you to, uh, you know, learn how the debugging process and all works because you will be, you know, whenever you will uh, try to deploy it, you will probably face the same issue. So it's better to learn from mistake than a perfect tutorial. Probably it is uh, looking for the start command. Let's see. Okay. The same issue, unable to detect uh, run command. So we'll add that command. Okay. So nothing to worry about. I'll just add the command. I think the nitro preset, uh, preset is not working so this would be i guess our uh, starting point so we'll just add this uh, to our to our package.json so what i will do i'll go to package.json and here i will add the start command start and i'll give this node output server index mjs so this would be uh the starting point of the application uh, of the server actually so i'm just going to commit it start now let's see what happens so let's wait for it to build okay so our application is deployed so the only thing was missing from our uh, package.json was the start script i don't know why because i thought um, uh, giving the presets would automatically add the start script but it was not the case so if you are also uh, trying to uh, deploy a nux3 application in node.js uh, in normal uh, hosting like uh, aws or digital ocean mm. di normal digital ocean droplet so make sure you add this uh, you add this script because it will it will start the uh, server inside so so what happens is uh, whenever you run yarn build uh, inside a nux project it creates the artifacts and the uh, artifacts for server resides in the output directory so you have to give uh, the starting point so it will take the start uh, script and then it will run it so basically that's what we did and our application is successfully deployed now let's uh, preview it the moment we are all uh, waiting for finger cross let's see what happens okay so as you can see uh, our application is successfully deployed on digital ocean app platform and it is working uh, perfectly so i can go to deals page i can go to uh, the home page I, I can go to single blog post and basically i can uh, do that uh, all so uh, how what will happen if you make changes to the application so once you make uh, any changes to the application uh, if you um, push it to the github then digital ocean app platform will uh, will uh, detect the change and then it will rebuild the application and then it will um, deploy the application again so so the better workflow is uh, to create a multiple branch for a for production create another branch for development uh, just keep it in main or master and then whenever you want to deploy the application just push all your changes to the production branch so once the production branch uh, changes are pushed to the github uh, then digital ocean can detect the changes and then it can deploy, deploy the application so that's it guys i hope uh, you have learned uh, a lot of things about like uh, so that's it guys that was uh, today's topic so i hope you have learned uh, what to do when you get a lot of errors and if you have any question or if you have any thoughts uh, about this video just comment that down and uh, don't forget to uh, join the discord uh, server where i post uh, everything about and, and the upcoming videos or uh, if you have any question you can ask the other members they will 
probably able to help you so that's it guys uh, see you in the next video and one more thing one more announcement actually in next week uh, i'm going to record a very long video uh, it would be a full stack a uh, next application using uh, strapi as a back end and a uh, next as a front end so we'll see uh, how that goes we'll uh, keep keep you updated on uh, discord and twitter so that's it guys uh, see you in the next video till then stay blessed stay happy bye